Hello, Southside Church, and welcome to the new normal. If you can hear my voice echoing through the hallways, it's because we have an empty building. We have no school meeting, we have no church services, no public gatherings. It's difficult in a situation like this to be proactive. We're being inundated with information, minute by minute, day by day. It's the nature of the epidemic we're in. The coronavirus has changed a lot, but it hasn't changed the truth of God's word, hasn't changed who you are, it hasn't changed who we are as a church. With all that being said, I'm thankful that we live in the time that we do where we have the technology available to us to still communicate in this way. I'm thankful to the Lord for the staff that we have that's trying to stay up to date and current on all the technology and information we need so that we can still have service every Sunday live streaming right here from Southside Church. In a time like this, we have a tendency to allow our heart to sway one way or the other, maybe towards arrogance or towards anxiety, but with the Lord's help, we can find a biblical balance. This disease is a real threat. And it has the potential affecting all of us in different ways. So we love our neighbor as ourself. And the things that we say, and even the manner in which we interact with one another. So with this in mind, we confess our pride. But we also guard against anxiety. I know there's a passage that's familiar to most of us, Philippians 4, verse 6. It says, Do not be anxious about anything, but instead through prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. What I love about the Lord and His Word in this very familiar passage is that God always helps us to understand what we need to put off and what we need to put on. And if we're feeling anxious at any time, unsure about what's going on in the culture and society around us, if there's a worry that's raining in on us, Scripture says there's something we need to put off, and that is that anxiety, it is that worry that we have within us. And instead, we're supposed to replace that with something else. Paul says that thing that we replace it with it's thanksgiving, it's prayer, it's supplication, it's prayer and more prayer and giving thanks to God. Those are the things that replace the worry and the anxiety with. Anxiety is real and it's difficult and it's probably the most common command we find in scripture is for us not to be anxious about life. But that can be difficult in times like this when things are unsure and the economy is the way it is and the disease is growing at the rate in which it is. But we can be sure about this, that God has not changed. He does not change and he will not change. And we love him for that. And we're thankful to him for that. And so find ways today to give thanks to the Lord for what he's done in your life, what he is doing today, and raise that Ebenezer of faithfulness up to him. So this is the alternative to worry, prayer and thanksgiving. We don't rid ourselves of worry by making light of the situation, but rather in trusting in God who is greater than all our fears. Philippians goes on to say, that if we are faithful to put on prayer and thanksgiving, that the peace that surpasses understanding will reign in our hearts. So again, think today about what you can be thankful for. What can you be in prayer for today? We wanna to make sure that we all stay connected. One way you can do that is by tuning into the service this Sunday at 10.30 a.m. At the end of the service this week, we're gonna be taking communion together virtually. So make sure you have those elements ready with you and your home. Our staff has been working around the clock to make sure that our streaming as smoothly as possible this week. We'll continue to send out our newsletter and keep all of our social media platforms up to date. We'll also be sending out some helpful resources, so be on the lookout for those later this week. Finally, if you need anything, please contact me directly. I'd love to minister you in any way or any needs that you may have. You can find my contact information on the website, or you can call the church office and let them know, and I'll be back in touch with you as soon as possible. I'll close by encouraging you to stay safe, stay healthy, and follow the public guidelines that our local governments have issued to us. I'll continue to communicate with you all throughout this time apart, but I definitely look forward to the homecoming, which we'll have soon.